Day one for Army Recognition Editorial Team at MSPO 2021, the International Defense Division in Kielce, Poland. As official online show daily news and web television for the event, we will cover during three days with latest news and videos. My name is Roman Uzański. I'm from Zakłady Mechaniczne Tarnów. Our company is part of PGZ, Polish Armament Group. Our company produces small arms and also support weapons like mortars, grenade launchers, remote control weapon systems and container training systems. It's part of our modular weapon system, MVS, MWS. Here is the smaller one version, but we also produce these rifles in 308 as DMR version of these rifles. And also we have that with trigger mode, semi-automatic and select fire. The main parts are made in our company, but we also use a lot of equipment of accessories from AR-15. So we have the same ergonomics. Here this is the MVS-15, the shorter version with 8 inch barrel. Here we have 10 and half inches barrel. This is also our new product, which we show today in this fair. So it's in Polish anti-UAV system. Here we have the remote control station with our four barreled 50 BMG machine gun. It's our small turret. This turret is dedicated for 762 machine gun, also made in Tarnów. Here we have system with autonomous mobile which is based on Polaris Quad. That system could be remote control up to six kilometers, can be man controlled and it's quite also autonomous. Its optic also is made by PCO. My name is Marcin Janiszewski, I'm a commercial director of PCO. PCO specializes in uh, thermal vision, night vision and also visible light. We sell equipment for individual soldiers and also equipment for, for platforms, for vehicles, for tanks, for APCs. Also in big quantities for Polish programs we sell the laser warning system. We have some success regarding this very product in Southeast Asia, particularly in Indonesia. In this case we can have night vision in one eye thermal vision in second eye, fusion of images of thermal and night vision. It's very robust, we make it out of aluminum alloy. It can work on one battery, continuous work for uh, 40 hours. It's one of the lightest in the world. Regarding the military equipment for the vehicles, our products are thermal products and uh, night vision products for new vehicles manufacturing in Poland. Everything we manufacture is fully designed and we sell it in big quantities for Polish army. And the product that we manufacture, everything that we research, is a fruit of our research and development team. We are part of the PGZ, I mean the HSW. We specialize first of all in artillery equipment and right now in the military vehicles. We have a prototype, it is manufactured by Tatra for HSW. We bought the license and the vehicle is gonna be ready in the end of November. We would like to present on the holidays. So it is equipped with the Tatra engine, but you have alternative, I mean the Cummins one, so you can exchange. It is the full automatic Allison transmission and host power is 300 kilowatts. It's gonna be dedicated, for example, as a command vehicle for the artillery, a reconnaissance vehicle. You have the eight, eight people, the commander, driver, and four of the, of the soldiers. We can change according to requirements of Polish army. You can see the military turret made in the Tarnów. It's one of the PGZ company. Caliber is 12.7 and 7.62 millimeters. A ballistic protection and mine protection, it's Stanak 2 as well. It is the artillery reconnaissance vehicle, which is a part of the vehicle inside of the battalion of the mortars. So it is on the chassis of the Rosomac. We have been cooperating with WBE Electronics. So it's a vehicle 8x8. Eight eight. The Rosomac has been created several years ago. It is dedicated for Polish Army. You can see another product of the HSW. The most important is the turret system, 30 millimeters. The caliber can be changed into the 40 millimeters. This uh, turret system system will be dedicated for Polish vehicles 8x4. By, by right now the Polish army used to have the hit fist turret. You can see 30mm barrel 
of Bushmaster. On the right side, you can see the Spike uh, rocket launcher, and there is the 7.62 cannon from the Tarnov. This is the mortar 120 millimeters on the track chassis. We sent to Polish Army many of this kind of the vehicle, but with the wheeled chassis. This one is with the track chassis. This hydropneumatic suspension unit inside, it means much quicker stabilization after the shooting and much better drive into terrain. For example, we have a top roller here. here. It's a completely new solution. Automatically, you can put the ammunition inside of the, of the barrel. Maximum distance of this motor is 10 kilometers. My name is Łukasz Brzeżny from the Pitratwar company. I'm the director of Armament Systems Division. We are designing radio location stations from very short range to long range, command and control, missile launchers and armament systems like 35 mm gun. Here we can see command and control system. Here we can see the gun, self-propelled 35 mm automatic gun system. And the third component of the Vishorat is the missile launcher with Grom or Piorun missiles. They can work together controlled by the command and control system. First of all, it is a full automatic system, so you can control the armament components from the command and control. There is no need to have crew on the gun system, for example. You can operate only from the cabin of this vehicle. As you can see, we have got fire control system in this vehicle with its own electro-optical fire control system, but of course it can communicate with the radar, like a Bystra or SOA, can have the information about air situation. We can see targets at the distance about 20-30 kilometers. So we can detect many targets at the same time. Here we've got automatic gun system and a missile launcher. Both systems can be connected to the fire control system and command and control by radio or by cables. So it is possible to operate in different kind of environment and situation. The gun system can operate in two modes in automatic mode or in the autonomous mode. The automatic mode means that the operator is in the fire control vehicle. All these guns can engage one target. In the autonomous mode, we can point the target from the fire control system. In this configuration, we have multiple targets at the same time. We can engage multiple targets at the same time. The Grom missile, it is a fire and forget, very short range air defense missile. In this system, we've got four launchers and four spare on the technical platform. The crew of the system is only two person because the system is automatic. It has got its own fire control system based on electro-optical sensors with video tracker. After aiming the target from the command and control system, the crew of the Poprat system can engage the target and then he can start the launching procedure for the, for the missile.